So are you ever going to do us again? Where have you been? We've been wondering where you're at. What are you talking about? I've been here the whole time. I haven't gone anywhere. Well, that's not true because you haven't done this since November last year and the season's almost over. No basketball, no baseball, no other sports. So what happened? Look, I needed a mental break. I was going through some stuff with my family. My wife had cancer. We were struggling financially. There was a lot of things going on in my life. I'm sorry. Yeah, I get that. We all get that point in our lives where everything's going on. But we're glad you're back. So what do you got planned for us? Thank you, Tempo. At least I can count on you to be there for us. But I have some things in store. I'll be getting to it hopefully here in the next couple of days, and we'll get back to normal. Sounds just like an FAU fan making excuses why they performed so poorly over the past few months. No wonder <laughs> their fan base isn't always there for them. Yep, I totally agree with you there, Memphis. Sounds just like FAU fans. This. This is why nobody likes you there, you two. Just because of that snotty attitude. Everybody needs a mental health break nowadays. Really, is that so FAU? So do you give your players mental health break when they ask for it? Yeah, we give them mental health breaks. Yeah, so do we. We found that our players perform better in class and society if they get breaks. We actually encourage members of our staff, if they're not feeling up to it mentally, to take days off, go out and get right or talk to somebody. You don't? We do. We would just rather have them focus on winning right now. That's probably why we see athletes from programs like yours leave the game early or transfer to places where they can get the help they need to get mentally right. That's right, FAU. Mental health is still a bit of a taboo in this country, especially for males. Males are supposed to be seen as the strong ones and ones to be able to handle everything on their back and be able to do it with a smile on their face without being told it's not okay to cry. It is okay to cry. It's okay to talk to somebody, especially when you're feeling the weight of the world that's on your shoulders, especially if you have a loved one, a significant other, or a family member going through some sort of mental emergency fighting a disease like cancer or you just lost someone mental health takes a toll on everybody and that's why you need to reach out and find somebody to talk to or be your co-worker a friend or a professional contact your local community resources and find somebody to talk to because mental health is important for everyone